After opening the Trading Card Creator app, you'll be greeted with the interface. Click on Choose File to add an image from your computer. After school, we let our hair down. Time to party going all out. Once you have your image uploaded to the canvas, you can now resize, move or rotate the image into the perfect spot for your card. You can now select, hide, show or delete your image through the layers section. Now, I'll import a frame from the starter pack 1 add-in. I'll choose a frame that has a transparent middle so that my uploaded image can be seen through it. Be sure to click on the proper layer while clicking select, this will make the layer image visible on the canvas. I'll resize the frame image that I uploaded to fit the canvas. This image has a transparent center so that the lower layer is seen through, much like an overlay. I'll keep checking to make sure that the underlayer is in the correct spot for the trading card. I'll constantly save the progress, you can later delete the saved file that you don't need. Since I'm paranoid, I'll just save often. I'll add a shape, my favorite one is this lunar crescent. It reminds me of Sailor Moon, I love that anim. I'll choose the color and opacity, then, I'll move it into place and rotate and resize as needed. If the shape, text, or image is not activated on the canvas, you can choose select from the lays menu. This will activate the asset so you can use it. For demonstration, I'll choose some random words to add as text. How about, hello world, I'll then choose a font, color and size. Sometimes when adding text, add some blank spaces after the last word. This will give the text block more space and it won't cut off any letters that you've written. Click, add text, then, resize the text. Sometimes the font takes a second to generate. Resizing helps it along. <laughs> to finish off this demonstration, I'll add our logo. Move it into place, resize it and make sure that the layers are in the correct order. I'll save the card and then open it in the Windows Viewer. I'll compare the two and see what might be wrong with it. Um, I see the edge is not perfect. I can always go back and fix it if I have a saved file or if I haven't closed the app yet.
Once again, I'll open it up in the Windows Viewer and make sure everything looks good. Now that I am happy with the image, I'll use the zoom slider to make the image larger. This larger size will be the new output image size once I export it. Bigger is better. Right? I'll save one last time and move on to my project. I'm Chi. Thanks for your purchase of the Che Trading Card Creator. Every sale helps the development of the app. Cheers and see you soon. No stress, just laughter we found. No stress, just laughter we found. Party. Here are some of the assets that are available in the first starter pack. More assets, images and frames will be added soon, later days.